Hey YouTube, Mike here. How are we doing today? I hope we all had a very safe and productive week. I know I did, considering I'm still waiting on therapy and a bunch of other BS and bureaucratic paperwork that I have to sit through for this knee. But we're going to forge on. At least I'm really not having to take my meds. So we're going to make some sawdust today. Um, as you all know, I'm in the gas business and we do a lot of underground gas piping. And we have to buy between 250 foot and 300, excuse me, 500 foot rolls of this stuff. It's called CSST Poly Underground Gas Pipe. I mean, this thing's got to weigh about 40 pounds and it's 250 feet. Let me just wheel this over to here since you see it. And normally, it takes three of us. One person to hold it while another person feeds it from your hand, so you're holding it like a roller, while another person is pulling it in the trench. So today, <clears throat> I'm going to make an inexpensive unroller that we can take apart, bungee it together, and store it in our shop, take it to the job site, put a couple of screws in it, piece of pipe, and now we can unroll it, take it all apart, and store it back again until the next job. All right, so we're gonna do it out of uh, two by fours, a piece of half inch pipe, 18 inches, some caps, some pipe straps, a couple of screws, a couple of holes, a couple of gimlets, and we'll go from there. All right, shop safety. Safety glasses, I wear mine all the time, and your hearing protection. All right, YouTube, let's make a little sawdust. First, we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out the two by fours. It's gonna be 36 inches tall, sitting on a two by four, that's 36 inches. We're gonna cut this in half, put little splice plates in to keep it stable. And those two halves will be able to make together. Uh, I'm gonna get one of those husky bags where I can put all the screws in them and just tape it to the one of the risers and we'll, we could just store it and then it'll take up less room also in the truck. All right, um, let's cut up some stuff on the miter saw first and then we'll start the assembly.
Okay, we're gonna make two holes. Two. Uh, we're trying out the the wall 60 volt system today. Let's get this back in view here. Good. Yep. Now over to the band solar. Let's square these holes up. so I know which one is the inside. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these little half inch hangers and I'm just going to put them dead center Put 
them in your pocket. Okay, that's that. Now, let's make sure we got the inner and an inner. We have a leg. This will lock in the pipe now, but I'll be able to spin it.
Now, I need the pipe on here because I'm going to put a, another brace with two screws. Pick it up. Now, you see, it's quite unstable. But I'm going to take another piece of 2x4. Let me just get this brace in. So I need something smooth for it to roll on. Okay, now I need to know what this is. So I'm going to cut, say, a 17 inch piece. Give me a second here. Turn this back around. Drive, I'm going to pre drill some holes so I can put two screws in that will stabilize this thing from rocking like this. But also, let me get you over here and focus there. <clears throat> It'll be a brace that's going to go just like that. And then I can remove the screws later. And I'll probably do another one maybe on the, uh, on the bottom with Kindle off with nuts and bolts because then that'll actually help stabilize it. And then I'll just get one of those bags from um, Home Depot, those little canvas bags, and um, just zip tie it or put maybe a nut and bolt, wing nut or something, or a drill bit. got to get used to this chuck. It's a nice chuck, but you got to get used to it. holes are in there, let me grab a clamp here, once the holes are in there, then we can just line those holes back up with the board and we'll be good to go. some glue on it and stuff but like I said I got to be able to take this thing apart even though I have a fairly big truck you don't want to take up so much room that looks good to me and we just drive these home For anything, PEX tubing, wire, BX, there you go. And they tape this so you can take the first 75 feet off, then you have to cut the, uh, more tape, and then you can take the rest of it off. So, 
that's it. That's it. This now, and you see this piece right here. This this is the this is the the starter piece right here. This is what starts the roll. So. Yeah, I'll probably do, I'm going to do two, I'll do some feet at the bottom, and then I'll probably put a piece of Kindorf with some quarter 20 wing nuts on the bottom for the feet, and, uh, and that's that. Alright YouTube, I hope you enjoyed this, something quick, um, something I've been meaning to build for a while. Just, you know, a real pain in the neck. Um, and even if someone has to stand here and move it, at least you're not holding this thing. And the 500 foot roll weighs like 75, 80 pounds. It gets tiresome, especially when they gotta, you know, stretch it out 350, 400 feet. You know, the roll gets lighter as you go along, but, you know, now at least we can, uh, and I, if I loosen these a little bit, maybe um, sand out this hole, I'll be able, well, it does move. Look at that. It does rotate. So, it should be fine. It should be fine. Well, we're going to test it on Monday because this roll is going in the ground for a big pool job. And I'll let you know. All right, YouTube. Um, again, thank you very much for all the comments and all of the likes and especially all the, su the subscribes. I greatly appreciate it. Um, probably I think three away from 3,500 subscribes. Um, if you want a Mike's Woodshop sticker, um, I'm going to include my email as always um, in the description below. Send me your uh, mailing address and I'll be more than happy to send you a sticker. If you have a question, you want to send photos of your workshop, email me. All right, be, uh, More than happy to answer you. I answer everybody. Okay? All right, YouTube, uh, check out my Instagram, Michael Latronico. For all of the, um, matter of fact, you'll get photos of this install. And, of course, my other YouTube channel, The Renai Guy. All right, YouTube, again, have a safe and productive week, and I will see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.